Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Shiv Glani, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Mark Schweitzer, who's the Dean of the School of Medicine and Vice President of Health Affairs at Wayne State University in Detroit, Michigan. Yeah, can you start, us by, start off by telling us a bit about your background and what got you interested in the medical field and then specifically radiology? Um, I, I went to a six-year medical program. So basically, I applied to medical school when I was 17 years old. And no matter how mature you are or what you think you want to do at 17, you really have no idea what you want to do at 17. Um, and I fell into it because um, I grew up in a very middle-class household without a lot of opportunities, without a lot of role models. And the chance to be a doctor was kind of a way to um, break out of the neighborhood that I was in. So I kind of fell into medicine without giving it a lot of thought, but I'm damn lucky I fell into it. Um, why I did radiology is kind of similar. Um, I fell into it without a lot of thought, um, but it does fit, and maybe I knew this subliminally, um, my skill sets. Um, I'm able to think fairly fast. I'm good at pattern recognition, and I like complexity. And radiology is basically the study of the complexity of how diseases affect the human body. You know, what advice would you give to people who are considering careers in healthcare or early on in their, in their career uh, trajectory? I would say to be ambitious. Um, I've seen too many smart people not do as much as they could, either because their ambition runs out they have no role models to show them what they might be able to do. Or they have a goal and they reach that goal and they stop. So I think to a large degree, ambition makes the 2 or 3% who end up really changing the world change the world. And certainly 50% of the people could do that. If they were mentored the right way, they had the right role models, and they never gave up. So if I would give someone some advice, it would be don't limit yourself by ambition. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash Raise the Line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.